Well, friends, it's gonna be a weird day here. Today we start working, looking over this bad boy. This is a VW Vanagon truck. It's a Synchro Doka that my buddy Dan bought. And he had it shipped here because he was on his honeymoon. And then he extended his honeymoon for like several times. So it's been here about a month and he hasn't seen it yet. So today he comes and sees it for the first time. We're gonna look it over together, see if we can't make it work and see how actually bad it really is. I think we can save it. I just shot it off. I just turned it around for you. Fired right up. Welcome home. It's great to be here. What do you think? It's, it's beautiful. This is a good angle. Wow, look at the ratchet strap down there. I don't know what that does. That's for moving it around. Oh, that's, no, that's like a tow bar. That's yeah. something super heavy duty. Look at that. Oh, no, yeah. that's just a factory thingy. Yeah, but no, the thing to the left of it is. Oh, look, it's... It had a... I think it had a here. plow on it at some point. It's here. I bet you it had a plow. It's a little crustarino. Four-wheel drive, though. Yes, four doors. Four doors. Two knobs. Four doors, two knobs. Let's kill it. It should have died a little while ago. Oh, oh, there's an interior. Room for a six by nine speaker over there. Good spot for it. Good spot for it. That's it, that is, look at this plush armrest. That's a cool there is an armrest. Smoking, oh, it's been off. Oh, just over the, uh-huh, oh yeah. Oh, right hand drive. It is mega weird. The right-handed drivedness of it is mega weird. Fire it up, drive it to the top of the driveway. You think? Yeah, it'll run. It has it has oil on it. Doesn't have a lot of coolant. Let's not run it long. But okay. yeah, go for it. Take it on up. Oh, the gears aren't where you think they are, but they're there. It has gears, they're just a little, they're not, the shifter could use some work, but. I know, it's super weird. Everything is backwards. Oh, I've never used this gear, it says G for God, it's rusty. That's for Galandon gear. He's going the distance. A little bit of a stumble. That has me thinking maybe three, we'll start with spark plugs, but. She's burning a lot of oil. Waving a good cloud. Bring it on down. A bit off roading. It needs some stuff. How many gears you get through? Two, but the, on second gear, it kind of did the whole, I have no power thing for a little that bit. That could have been third gear, fourth gear. I don't know. No, I think it's no. on, I don't think it's got all of its it cylinders. Died. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think we need some spark plugs. We can start with that today. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's oh, start I with got, beer though. BRP 360T. BP 60 T's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, that's that's storage. That's additional storage. It has rocker storage, so you which keep, is you could keep like a, a mouse lot of in mice there. in yeah. there. Yeah, but see, here's a couple of things that typically fail on a synchro. Like this is where bends had to be repaired, which is is right above this section of subframe. Okay, it and needs that's, everything. that's real good. It no, but this everything. is real good. Look at that. This is that's good. OG. Yeah, that's okay. That's really. I mean, the the VW rust proofing was really not the not not bad. Yeah, underneath oh. it's actually quite okay. It's quite low to the ground. Okay. I have bought this significantly exists. worse synchros than this. You said this was worse than Krusty. Krusty Brown. It's not worse. It is body wise. Yeah, but bodies can be treated. Oh, this is leaking for sure. What's this? Power steering. That's power steering? Yeah. Yeah, that's leaking for sure. Uh shift cable. Oh yeah, that's that's atypical. I don't have that. That's a thing. That's really a good thing. <sighs> Newish fuel pump. Looks like brand new. Fuel pump's back here. And it's just, what's this? No, this is it. This is a. Okay, so that's very not correct. So this is uh Oh yeah, she's a dangler. Is she on the fuel tank straps now? No, no, no. Are they there? No. Uh oh yeah, I haven't gotten back that far. But this guy looks like some jumpers. This this is brand new. The pump. This fuel tank. Yeah. 
fuel pump, rather. But it right. goes into that stupid filter. Um, I'm moving aft. See that big oh. dangling filter? Oh, that's easily knocked off. Yeah, that's what a good. Frick is that's this? a good spot for this? having all of your fuel supply. What is this? Well, that's what you would do if you've had major issues with your fuel tank. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I think I've got one of these on the tractor. It's a bit smaller, though. Yeah. <laughs> so I think you've got major issues with your fuel uh, tank. Yeah, that tank is probably garbage. Well, it's plastic, so it doesn't go bad, except that it's probably sitting on... How much gas is in it? I put about five gallons in yeah, it. Yeah, it needs, it needs a full tank sloshing around in there. Well, it needs the tank taken out. These boys? They look good. These they are look okay. Good. This is better than it could be. I've seen these be pretty bad. It's a bit soft, don't poke it, but you know, this is our big problem. Oh. We have to rebuild structure here, but okay. we can. Well, I was, I'm not, it's quite low to the ground. I think that will change. Oh. I would say almost and for sure. This guy, this is all not. It's not ruined. I'll, oh, I mean, this is cool. <laughs> this that's is the, cool. That's some stupid. We should change it. <laughs> it runs. It runs. But this is older than the import, I believe. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So this hose clamp here is new. Yeah, that hose looks new. That fuel pump looks new. A couple of torn boots. Yeah, it's no big deal. But looking at the actual trailing arms, they're in good shape. The, you know, the What's suspension this? is okay. The, the things that concern me are the fuel tank. Yeah. I would say if you pulled the tank and you did all that delightful maintenance that we just did on blue, I think it's a good time to fix all the stuff from below. Then you're done. It's a synchro. I, did you see me do off roads? I went off road. I saw you try. That was. I went on the on the off road. Ten inches of snow. Yeah. I went off road. Yeah. It's got it's got the arches. These are TriStar specific arches. Ooh. I I got stuff called back to black. I used, but what's it look like underneath? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't take them off. But yeah. And have we? Yeah, it's not as horrible in there as it could be. Oh, you need the Locked. key. It's uh. Well, I didn't anticipate any holes. Well, and it contains. He he says he told me about this. Oh, there's less. Oh, it's you're reducing its mass. Aerodynamics. Okay. Let's hold that down. Yeah. Slidey windows. Yes, TriStar win windows. Door over here. Door over there. Horrible. Ah, so a uh, TriStar versus a regular Doka, there's four doors instead of just three. So things to check when you're buying a Synchro Doka or a Doka Doka. You were saying up here, this frame piece. Yeah, so right where the um, cross member, where the subframe attaches to the- There. So right here, this goes, this rusts out from the inside. And this? Uh, oh, well, that's its own fun. That's, that's missing. Oh, there, that's a that right back there. Let's see, I'm looking in here and it's like, it contains contents. Yeah, so the uh, and I, I bought it a battery and it, it fired and the up. Seat is seats good here. The you know the headliner's got some some mice living in it. This is hella spacious. Look at that light above you. Oh, that, that's where the USB. But no, look at the fancy light, like grab handle and oh. that's cool. So this is a luxury item. That's a TriStar only thing for sure. And then there's a mouse hole here. That's where it got in. Mm -hmm. That's where it lives. Oh, oh, is this insulation? Yeah, that's mouse stuff. His name's Jeremiah. We fed him. Mm. I mean, the seat, look at the bolsters on this. this. This is actually in good shape. The seat's in good shape. And it's got these little spring buttons. It's and like, quite comfortable. And look, they covered. It's legit. The they covered the little caps. Oh, look, here is water entering. Oh, is that water? Yeah, here, this is rusted here. Should there probably be metal here? This probably shouldn't move. No, it's like... Oh, it's like a, pla a cardboard. It's it's a, yeah, it's a paper board. It's like this. Yeah, so this got wet at some point. <laughs> well, here. someone can make a new headliner. The headliner's not bad. I think we do USB charger here, here, and map light there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. uh, I mean, Moving overall... To the front, I'm going to rob a seat spinner from Wanda. So there's a I dude... I'll just that, get you one. There's a dude that camps out of these. He spins these around. So yeah. Imagine, oh, as we're rained out. All the, everybody's in their Westies watching TV. What do I do? 
spin the seats around. They, you get the ta the front tables mount very well right here. If you took, you can take that driver's seat out and put a cot in there. Every bit of six foot long. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I am I've never been I've been in a Doka, but they've had these yeah walls separators. Here. I'm surprised by how spacious the rear is. Like I'm a, you know, I, I put six foot on my driver's license. I'm five eleven and a half. But if I was like back here for a few hours. Yeah, I would be. I would be happy, even if there were three people. Like it's a very space. It's not as cab. bad as it could be. How about up here? Let's go. What do we got going? These on seats are in good shape overall. I mean, yeah, that's a repair. This but these is a repair. repair. I would pay to have this professionally stitched. These ASAP. are not. These are not. These are TriStar specific. They're not not durable. Yeah, they feel like. Uh, I would have that professionally done immediately. Yeah. You're running. I up. know. How crazy is that? So the 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 circuit <gasps> board. Cool. But how crazy is it that the um it's is wet. it currently wet? Yes. Oh, well, then the windshield needs to come out. That's no big deal. But the the um the fuse box is behind the glove box because it's right hand drive. That goes in the back. So look at how the glove box has a special cutout for it, so that it clears the fuse it's box. It's the same cover. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. They just like made weird stuff. It's got the wall count stereo, two knobs, front and rear diff locks. Oh, that's nice. So which one does which? So this, what, what do we got going on here? That's your front diff lock. So this pulls? Yep. Have we tried these? No. Okay, oh, that goes back. And then this does the same thing? Oh, that one I think you rotate as you pull. Uh, a front's different, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't, you, if you turn this on, you lose all steering. This is this is a big danger thing. That's why these are illegal in the US, at oh. least for, for production vehicles. Look at this, look at this boot. Yeah, That's it's leather. leather. Carpet, get, we'll get this clean with the, with the truck mounted machine, no problem. It's got, I would get some uh, window cranks, because these are garbage. That um, one is, uh, yeah, that one is gone. Yeah, get the go west. This is, one. you got, this is a headlight. What's uh, this? That's a, a pager. No, it's got the wire. Demon. Maybe a radar detector? Could be. You got, you got a little windshield rust. Like, I mean, at some point this windshield's going to want to come out, but not, I don't know about right away. Check this out. Come out here. Yeah, that's a door. You can come out. Um, out here we have fiberglass front bumpers. Square headlights with E code H4s yes, yes. and headlight washers. I'm gonna, so, you don't think this gets the South Africa grill? No. I think it might. This was, so, this was restored. So, I talked to a guy online. He knows the story of this van. It was restored in an island off the coast of the UK and shipped to Canada about 10 or 15 years ago. And it looks like they drove the hell out. Oh, no, no, excuse me. It was parked 10 years ago. So, it was shipped prior to that. And um, so see when they went, when they go left hand drive the the um, the wipers are in a different oh, spot yeah. so you can't easily convert it you have these weird little but plasticky the, wiper, the wipers just wipe they would just wipe I'm I'm with you you'd you'd be missing this yeah which wood riveted on it or aluminum riveted on it and that's what these rivets are for. So we can put a top back Look, on it's it. way down there. Ah, oh, and somebody had this up. That, that was in the glove box. So clearly he had, he told you it was running and it had fuel pump issues because that's why there's a new fuel pump and that's why the fuel pump relay is open. Mm -hmm. it, it did run. It does run and drive. What's this all? That looks here? hacked. What is but this? it's taillight wiring. The, um... So see, the ECU is back there because it's, it's a... Yeah. It's a 2.1... Uh, 1.9 ECU. Yeah, so that's a 1.9 ECU. It is a 2.1 running 1.9 fuel injection. So it's 112 horsepower uh, DJ jet based uh, DJ engine instead of MV. You know, I was ready to be disappointed. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a little miffed. I am disappointed. I. I would have. I should, we should have gone to see it. I say we, me. I did this. We should have gone to see it. We should have negotiated. There's but a car here. It'll it, be fun. It, it runs and drives, and it's here, and it's the rarest Vanagon in the world. Jeremy Clarkson. How many did they make? Um, sixteen hundred, I think. How many did they make in the U.S.? How many right-hand drive TriStar Synchro Dokas? 
This so how many TriStar Synchro Dokas did they make in right-hand drive? Right-hand drive? Limited market. I got to say... 18. 18. They made 18. 18. The right-hand drive is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean... It's... Oh, that broke. Broke that. Yeah. We'll just... Oh, I just wouldn't worry about it. It's probably where all yeah. those electricities go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all those electricity hoses just oh, get yeah. packed that's, into that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it's, just, it's not good. It's dissolving. Yeah. Keep that cover closed. Good. It's good that they have two of them, though. Right. So that there's one next to the oh. other one. That's, that's not that's, redundant at all. That's for two trailers. <laughs> oh, but this is a Westphalia pot. Yeah. This, yep. uh, thing. How much can I tell with this guy right here, Craig? Uh, 2,000 pounds or 2, so. 2,000 pounds? What's the tongue weight, you think? 500 50, pounds. 50, 500 pounds? Yeah. Pretty cool. I mean... It's pretty cool. So, oh, gazing in here, oh, yeah. see, like, here's your fuel feed line, like your factory one, right. and it's cut off and goes to this little doodad right next to it, which tells me she had major fuel problems, you know, I mean. So they replaced this they replaced, fuel line? Yeah, they replaced that fuel this line. This is new. Yeah. He put this on. Exactly. He hacked some things to make her run. That's okay. And you can see some juices coming down up there. What, that's juice, coming, what color juice is it's that? It's the greens. It's coming from in there. Yeah, you got that. That's all ruined. And then that's dripping down. But then also, uh, she's crusty right down there. See the crusties? Yeah, a little lower. Oh, yeah, yeah, good this crusties. Right here. So I, I got accessible. that. We can we can toss one of them on today, and we can throw a rail on there. And uh, so this takes the same rail. I don't think so. I don't know. It's this super weird. Big. Well, there's no back. Part there's no of back. It. it goes up. So this also opens here. So we've got this down. Yeah, but you got it's it's either or. Oh, okay. All right. So there's a car. I'd like we I'd like it to stop the juice leaking. Yes. That's the stop the leaking. Stop uh, the bleeding. Let's put some spark plugs in it. So we're gonna do some spark plugs, one hose, maybe take a look at the other juices, like the power steering juice. We know it's leaking coolant. Smoking a little bit on startup. That kind of went away. smoked pretty good. That that kind of went away. Well, it's got oil on it. Stuck lifter. Didn't have oil on it. Stuck lifter. Maybe. Didn't really have a lifter noise. So a uh, water jacket. Yeah, probably water probably jacket. ruined engine. Um, but the thing is, even if this engine had to be rebuilt, you're starting with a very desirable engine. You know. You could take this to someone like Marco Massey and have him build this, and and it'd be very correct. And 120 pluses of the horsepowers. Is that turbo ready yet for Massey soon. Speed? Yeah, coming soon. Hey, what's in there? Oh. Power and a snack. Oh, oh yeah, must have been a big mouse. Look well, at the huge a new one bite in. he took. I bet he's in the engine. I bet it's totaled. It's in Vermont. Pulled these spark plugs out. They look horrible. Made them uh, put in new ones. What are they? I don't know. I threw out the box. But we put in some different ones. And uh, I cleaned the cap and rotor and put wires back on. Dan got some hose to... Look, we found that... Where is the island of... The States of Guernsey Traffic Committee has this novel device where you set... Yeah, no one cares. So we, uh, <laughs> we got big coolant lakes here. There's a hole in the pipe. This is the thing that goes there. So we're just going to cut that out and stick a piece of hose in it. That's Beep. probably going to vaguely repair it for today. And then uh, I sprayed some of the WDs in there just in case so that it's got a few. It's got about 40 of them. I put 10 in each cylinder. And we'll pop some injectors off and give them the little the 18 volts and see what they do and and then we'll fill it with juices and make Until it go. this particular is that a hole that's aerated yeah so this was an actually this is not factory we added this, that yeah this was added by yeah it'll do <laughs> this is the pressure tank for the coolant system it's probably bad so we're just going to replace it preemptively is, is this one better this one is cleaner but not made by Volkswagen. So it's anybody's guess. It's anybody's guess. Okay, we put new spark plugs in and a few other things. Let's see if she runs and how she does. Oh yeah, she fired up smooth. She's still, still cranking some sounds and some smoke. Bring it out quick. You're gonna smoke up the garage. It's great. So this is fresh plug, she's purring now. Give it a rub. Yeah, it's throwing mice. That was a mouse. Yeah, it's throwing mice, but it's it's good. Idling rock solid. 
And she just needs a clean up. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Any drippy drips down listen there? Listen to the listen to the exhaust is tight. You have an exclamation point. Yeah, there's an exclamation point illuminated in, in red. Where's there an exclamation on the point? Left. Oh, that's your brakes. It just doesn't say brake because it's not American. It should say brake. And here's your fog lights. Let's see if they work. They don't. That's good. Lights. Oh, fogs work. Oh, fogs do work. Yeah. So they work with the uh, the lights on. High beams. Uh, let's see. No. Again. That's. Uh, they're not staying on. That's high beams, but they're not staying on. And I, I understand that with these E code lights, you can see things. Yeah. You're just not, you're just not used to seeing the E codes with the cutoff. Look at the big, you got a big emblem too. Big emblem. I dig that. Friends, I spent some time whispering to this Doka, and now the engine runs on all of the cylinders smooth as can be. It's holding coolant pressure. It's ready for actual driving, so we're going to make some bad decisions. Well, that didn't go so great. Just try to abandon that plan and just get back on the driveway. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. You're sliding. We'll get the max tracks. Well... <laughs> He's stuck. And uh, that's because he's got no no traction and it looks like he's gonna roll. We'll get some uh, max tracks off this and we'll, we'll get it out. Go for it. Uh, well, the buffoonery has gone wrong and we're gonna have to tow him out so it doesn't roll down the hill. We're gonna use the blue bus for that. Yeah, she hasn't ran in a few months, but I think it works. This is a synchro. Pull in a synchro. There we go. Joke is out. That worked perfectly. It Your did. synchro got stuck because it has garbage tires and you don't know how to use it. And then mine pulled you out effortlessly that's, because it's been parked for five months. That's correct. And I tried to lock the rear diff, but nothing locked. Mine locked and mine hasn't locked in 27 years. So um, yeah, fix your car. So all in all, I mean, that's not bad for Vanagon stuff. Good Tuesday night of buffoonery. Good Tuesday night. That was buffoonery. So what's next? Big tires. We might be chasing a coolant leak. We're definitely chasing a coolant leak. Pull the engine. Change everything. Pull the engine. Change real tires everything. Out, real tires. Thing one. Tires. Tires. Cheers. Okay there, Daniel. Don't hit the old people. Let's see what she does. Look out. I'm trying to rip it. A lot of brakes. A lot of brakes. A lot of brakes. The light has stopped flashing. Really? Yes. Interesting. But the temperature gauge is not moving, nor the fuel gauge, nor the speedometer. Straight on the left. And right. Something's definitely dead in there. We're gonna go ahead and shut that off. Many dead creatures. Is the rear just just concentrate on driving? Is the rear one working? Go right. Oh, she's moving. Oh, she smells hot. You're right. Okay, give her some gas. It's on the floor. Okay, so it doesn't have any beams in the three. Three gear. So Dan got the uh, drum off both sides really easily. Now we're just using a little CRC brake clean to see how things look back here. But the drums came off way easier than they usually do. These boots look good. Yeah, but the question is what's behind the boots? You gotta get a little screwdriver in there. Open them up, see if there's juice. I think I found a place to open the beer. Let's see how it works. No, that doesn't work. No. I'll teach you the work. ways. I'll teach you the ways. There, so there you go. Put that in there. And just, yep, there you oh, go. That's perfect. Factory. 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 Oh, beauty. That's like it was designed to be there. Yeah. Those Germans. Cheers. After much, you know, yelling at Dan, Dan has done things up there and now the brake lights work. They didn't work. Now they work. It was just uh, it was a bad fuse. It was a team effort. Yeah, I did it. We did it. I did it. We did it. Okay, we just replaced the tail light uh, license plate light thing with these. This one from Super Bright LED. I only had one 
So we need to get another one for over here, but we just wired that right in. It's a direct fit. Screws are in the right hole. Well, this car's almost ready to go. So we're gonna, you know, put some duct tape over the giant holes in the roof because there's giant holes in the roof. So I got this aluminum tape, like the actual stuff you put on a duct. We're gonna do that. That seems like a good idea. Well, that gutter just comes off. Oh, yeah. yeah that was... See if you can break that. Beauty. Oh, oh, wait. It goes all the way up there. Does it really? Yeah, it goes all the way up there. Oh, it goes all the way across. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's horrible. Can you, can yeah, you that. do that while I stay here? Yeah, I can get that. That's good. That's how you do it. Yeah. This is aluminized tape. Oh, that looks the best. That's the shiniest part of the car. That'll be there for years. That will, I can tell that. <laughs> I can tell right now. <laughs> It'll be there for a while. It'll be there for years. Snowblower. Yeah, she's running a little hot. Is she? Yeah. So, we got a little bit of a hot needle here. I don't know if I'd drive like that. I don't hear the, the fans aren't coming she's on. She's right in the middle. No, that's high. She's high. That's high, and the She's fan's high. not coming on. Well, that's looking more and more like a head gasket. Yeah, this is fully up to temperature, and it's still doing that. So, probably needs a set of head gaskets. Well, that's looking more and more like a head gasket. Well, the game plan is that Dan is gonna actually drive this thing out of here. He got some of that insurance on there, and uh, it runs. I mean, it's been idling for, it's been idling for about, uh, ooh, about an hour. Holding temperature. 30 minutes. Holding coolant. Full send. We got it. Do it. See the house. You what did you just do? Get, get, I, I went to the, the driver's side where the passenger sits in this van. I gotta go to the passenger side yeah, where the driver sits. Yeah, I gotta go to the other side. That's where the, yeah. That's the side you want. There you go. Drive from the right. You got this. All right, so the light's blinking again. Yeah, it's just because it's out of cool. It's overheating. Just send it. Is it, is it overheating? Probably not. I don't know. Four gallons of gas. No more. No more, no less. Let me know when you get home. There he goes. What could possibly go wrong? this is oh it's just motor oil it's coming out of the car it'll be fine 